Safety of Air Pollution TV. My name is Amrit. Let's talk about air pollution real quick. Um, I'm going to keep this one short and less of move me, <laughs> less of move, uh, less of me, and let's, let's look at the map. Uh, we're going to talk about four different parts of the world today. Let's talk about the Indian subcontinent. Um, yeah, that's the North Indian map. You can see a huge array of um, emojis over here from angry emojis down here to some forest fires or some um, fires detected. You see some areas where air quality might be fine, like down here, but by and large, most of the air quality stations across India measure uh, some form of um, unhealthy, whether it's unhealthy for only sensitive people with lung, lung diseases or asthma, uh, or just the vulnerable groups, or uh, unhealthy for most people in the city. Uh, as you can see, a lot of pukey faces over here, which is not good air quality. And this is real-time data coming in from the air quality stations. Um, so yeah, North India, uh, air pollution season is just kicking off because it's we're on the brink of winter. Um, and just be on the lookout. All of these air quality emojis are about to get far worse in the coming couple weeks. Next up, map number two, we have Montana in northwestern United States, just east of Washington State, where you've got Seattle. Um, what's interesting about Montana is that, wait, no, is there something else in between? Nope, that's it, Washington and Montana. What's interesting about Montana to me is uh, it doesn't get too much attention, you know, no, no big cities, um, you know, doesn't doesn't strike people's radar too much. But what's very interesting is that Montana consistently, uh, for over the last month that I've been tracking it, consistently has relatively poor air quality to, to the rest of the United States and even Canada. So if you look at this, there are a, a vast number of forest fires in, in northwestern Montana. And if you look at these emojis down here, all of these cities from Great Falls on down, uh, it is some form of unhealthy data. Although here, we, we are fine on the Washington border, but the this, this closer you get here, um, air pollution, air quality drips, drops drastically. And um, this is an interesting thing for me on the map because this almost always is an outlier for the larger United States map um, uh, for air quality. Uh, let, let's just step back a little bit. So you see some unhealthy for sensitive groups here. That's not happy. That guy is sick. Um, and relatively, Washington is just hard ice. Plenty of um, very, very, very low levels of air pollution across the board here. And also just south of Montana and Wyoming and Idaho. So great air quality there. Um, yeah, so that's very interesting. And while you're here, I would recommend checking out the, check out the, for, the fires that are de detected in North Dakota. They are very interesting. Uh, I was assuming they're going to be just um, forest fires, but they're actually not. A vast majority of them, you can see the exact factories or mines, the individual mines, where there are bursts of fires in the last 24 hours. So it's super interesting stuff. Montana and North Dakota, uh, dig in and take a look. Uh, it's pretty cool. Next up, hey, yes, let's talk about Iraq. The air quality in Iraq is something that I don't think anyone has ever talked about. Um, but hey, and as you can imagine, the country hasn't um, been stable enough where you would expect them to have real-time air quality monitoring stations on the ground. Uh, and yeah, there, there are none. Um, however, if you zoom into Baghdad here, uh, you can't see my finger, right here, you see one emoji. And that is the World Health Organization data for the year 2016's annual um, PM 2.5 data. So the, the main uh, pollutant that is related to health effects. And you can see that guy is not doing good. Let's check the legend to see where it stands. So it's a guy who's sweating a bit. So right here, right down the middle. And this is the unhealthy range. So every single person in Iraq or in Baghdad uh, has unhealthy levels of air quality on average throughout 2016. And you can see there are tons of fire detected. And these are just fires detected uh, by NASA satellites in the last 24 hours. And fires here can be for many different reasons. There are a lot of, um, there are a lot of oil work going on, a lot of oil drilling. So this could be the light on the, could be the, the, the excuse me, it's a little loud. Could be just the fires detected from the oil mining, or it could be, you know, it's Iraq. So it could be a heck of a lot of other things. Um, it could be crop burning, it could be farmers as well. Um, 
But yeah, keep an eye out. If you want, you can zoom on in on any of these fires and take a look at what is actually happening. Uh, let's zoom into the, this cluster right here. 